Hello, today you will learn how to connect sentences with a conjunction because. There are at least 12 ways or grammatical constructions that are used to explain reason in Korean. 10 of them are used quite often. I will cover most of them in this course. And in this lesson you will learn two of them, which are the most commonly used. You may wonder why there are so many ways to say the same thing. It is because each grammatical construction has a nuance. Some of them are used to describe negative reasons, whereas others are used to describe general reasons, justify an action, or describe positive reasons. So the first grammatical construction is nika, unika. You can use it with verbs and adjectives. If a verb or an adjective stem ends with a vowel, you should use nika, and if it ends with a consonant, you need to use unika. Let's take a look at a few examples. Here we have two independent sentences. Capable 좋아해요 and 한국어를 배워요. So, in order to say because I like K-pop, I learn Korean or I learn Korean because I like K-pop, the first thing you need to do is to identify which of these two sentences is a reason for your action. Whether it's I like K-pop or I learn Korean. It's important to know because unlike English where you can easily change the sentence order, in the Korean language, a reason always should be placed in the first position. Remember this. Here the reason is I like K-pop. So the reason why I learn Korean is because I like K-pop. In the Korean language, we start a sentence with a reason. A verb stem and nika because the verb stem ends with a vowel. After that, we need to attach an action. I learn Korean. 한국어를 배워요. K-pop을 좋아하니까 한국어를 배워요. Again, in Korean, you cannot change the sentence order. You cannot put I learn Korean at the first position and I like K-pop at the second position. If you do so, the sentence is going to have a completely different meaning. Look at this example, where an action goes first. 한국어를 배우니까 K-pop을 좋아해요. I like K-pop because I learn Korean. The meaning is a bit strange and it's definitely not what we wanted to say. Here are a few more examples. Pause the video and try to translate them into Korean. Because Teacher Lee is not here, come on Monday. 이 선생님이 안 계시니까 월요일에 오세요. Go home because it's raining. 비가 오니까 집에 가세요. Or 가십시오, 가요, or 가. Yesterday I slept early because I was tired. 어제 피곤했으니까 일찍 잠을 잤어요. Unlike the first two sentences, this sentence describes events that happened in the past. So you must use past tense suffixes in both sentences. Here and here. Now let's take a look at how you can combine nika and unika with other grammatical particles. This is the particle's hierarchy or order. Pause the video and read these examples for yourself. If you're new to my channel, you can also watch the lesson number 30 to learn more about particles order. Before proceeding with the lesson, I wanted to draw your attention to examples where we use negation. Here, 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 and here. As I explained in the lesson number 19, with some verbs that consist of a noun and a verb hada, we can use either ji anta or an. But in most cases, even though these two variants are grammatically correct, the second variant sounds more natural. Kumbu an hanika, kumbu an hagesunika, kumbu an hashinika, and kumbu an hashigesunika. Now let's see how to combine this grammatical construction with irregular verbs and adjectives in the present and past tenses. Pause the video and try to conjugate these verbs and adjectives for yourself. 주우니까, 들으니까, 지우니까, 이러니까, 크니까, 사니까, 주었으니까, 들었으니까, 지었으니까, 
이랬으니까, 컸으니까, and 살았으니까. If you want to learn more about irregular verbs and adjectives, watch the lesson number 29. You can use 니까 not only with verbs and adjectives, but also with nouns. If a noun ends with a vowel, use 니까, and if it ends with a consonant, use 이니까, not 으니까, okay? It's cold because it's winter. 겨울이니까 추워요. Since it's apple, it's expensive. 애플이니까 비싸요. It's fast because it's car. 차니까 빨라요. Again, in Korean, a reason should go first. And in English, it doesn't matter. Here is another way to explain a reason in Korean. We have already learned this grammatical construction in the lesson number 28, where I was explaining how to use a conjunction and. As you remember, I said that you can use also, also, and yoso only with verbs because if you use it with adjectives, sentences are going to have a completely different meaning. Please remember, if you use this grammatical construction with verbs, it will mean and, and if you use it with adjectives, it will mean because or since. And if you are new to my channel and don't know whether you should use also, also, or yoso, head over to the lesson number 28. Same as 니까 and 으니까, when you build sentences using this grammatical construction, a reason should go first, and an action goes after the reason. I learn Korean because I like K-pop. K-pop을 좋아해서 한국어를 배워요. I closed the door because it was too noisy. 너무 시끄러워서 문을 닫았어요. I slept early yesterday because I was tired. 어제 피곤해서 일찍 잠을 잤어요. You may wonder, what is the difference between 은이가 and 아서, 어서, and 여서? Both are used in different contexts and situations. Take a look at this comparison table. 은이가 can be used in sentences where you make a request, an invitation, or a command. You can also combine it with the future and past tan suffixes, but you cannot use these suffixes with asa, osa, and yasa, even when you talk about past or future. Also, you cannot use this grammatical construction when you give commands, make requests, or invitations. There is also a semantic difference between these two grammatical constructions. Use unika when you want to justify your actions and use this grammatical construction when you just want to explain a reason in general. Also, when you talk about emotions, use asa, oso, or yasa instead of unika. Let me show you examples for each of these rules. Command, request, and invitation. Come tomorrow because I'm busy today. 제가 오늘은 바쁘니까 내일 오세요. And 제가 오늘은 바빠서 내일 오세요. The second sentence is not correct. Usage with the future and past tense suffixes. Yesterday I couldn't come because I was busy. 제가 어제 바빴으니까 못 왔어요. And 제가 어제 바빴어서 못 왔어요. This one is totally wrong. When you talk about events that happened in the past, you need to use the past tense suffix in both sentences, here and here, if you use 은이가. But if you use this grammatical construction, you need to use the past tense suffix just once over here. Don't use tense suffixes in the first part of a sentence that explains a reason where you use 아서, 어서, or 여서. 제가 어제 바빴으니까 못 왔어요. And 제가 어제 바빠서 못 왔어요. These two sentences are correct. Semantic nuance. Yesterday I slept early because I was tired. 어제 피곤했으니까 일찍 잠을 잤어요. And 어제 피곤해서 일찍 잠을 잤어요. These two sentences are grammatically correct but used in different situations. The first example justifies an action. Say someone asked you, why didn't you answer my call? You can say, 어제 피곤했으니까 일찍 잠을 잤어요. 
So you're justifying your action. Now look at this example. Someone asks you, what did you do yesterday? This is just a general question. In this case, instead of 은이가, use this grammatical construction. 어제 피곤해서 일 특점을 잤어요. There is no emotional undertone uh, in this sentence. And lastly, with such words as to be glad, to be sorry, to be thankful, use asa, osa, and yaso. I'm calling you because I feel sorry. 미안해서 전화해요. Don't say 미안하니까 전화해요. And this one is the only new word I'll be using in the next lesson. Airline ticket. 항공 is uh, aviation or flight. 권 is a ticket.